I'm Ed Helms, and today we're taking a look at digital cameras, the revolutionary gadgets that turn your PC into a darkroom, which means your darkroom can once again be your mom's pantry. <laughs> now, finding the right digital camera can be a little confusing. I recommend small ones, like this one, the uh, DSCP-20. It's got letters and numbers. <laughs> Sounds very professional. Now, once you buy it, all you have to do is point and shoot. That is, make a point of reading the owner's manual and shoot through its 250-some-odd pages. After that, you will be well on your way to beginning to start taking your first digital photo, like so. And battery's dead. <laughs> That's kind of funny because I just charged it this morning. But that brings me to my next point. Digital cameras use a lot of power and you can only recharge the battery while it's in the camera. So buy more than one camera. <laughs> I'll just use this little baby right here. Now, we're ready to take some pictures and once you've taken them, you'll want to transfer them from the camera into the computer. And all you do is hook this in here and then that in there, like so, and we're having a camera recognition issue. <laughs> oh, that is probably because I haven't installed the software yet, which is no problem. That'll only take a second. And while that's installing, I have a chance to tell you another great feature. <laughs> Okay, batteries always die! <laughs> okay, luckily I already have some photos loaded into my computer. I took these at a party I threw for a friend of mine who got her wisdom teeth out. <laughs> That was a rager, okay? She was in a lot of pain. But with photos like these, you're going to want to show them around, and that means printing your digital photos. How do you do that? Well, dummy, to print, you just need a printer. <laughs> Seriously, you're going to need a new printer. <laughs> kind of a specialty item, runs about $500, not including the high-gloss photo paper, which goes for another $40 a pack. Now. You may be wondering why you'd want to pay that much when traditional photo developing only costs a few bucks. But don't forget, with digital photos, you also get to do all the work yourself. And they don't look as good. Now, even if you can't afford a fancy printer, there is a low-cost alternative. All you need is one of these an offline analog capture and reproduction unit. <laughs> It'll run you about 35 bucks, and it's very simple to use. All you do is aim it at your digital photo, <laughs> zoom in, and download. <laughs> and now you've got an instant hard copy of your digital photo. It's, uh, it's really quite a pain in the... <laughs> For Digital Watch, I'm Ed Helms.